what is happening? So I've been noticing something really interesting since I became a father. Maybe I should have noticed it when I became a husband, but here we are. I want to talk about it while I'm walking. I want to walk and talk. I want to start trying to vlog. So let's go and try and vlog. So what have I been noticing now that I'm actually a father? God, my hand is on stuff. Y'all gonna have to forgive me, this is my first time actually walking around out here like this. And it really got me thinking about the whole philosophy of happy wife, happy life. And what I think about that. I don't think that happy wife, happy life really means what a lot of people think that it means. Like, yes, of course, you're supposed to be able to provide for your woman and take care of your woman. God, this camera is shaking. Nah, you know, I know what? Nah, you know what? I'm gonna find a spot to sit down and just talk. Anyways, like I was trying to say, I think that happy wife, happy life mostly diverges from the fact that you need to provide a secure, comfortable environment for her to actually be happy. It's not about the gifts or the vacations or all the money or status. It's not really about any of that, okay? I want you to understand that when it comes to actually keeping your wife happy and making your life easier, bro, you need to make sure that her environment is comfortable, it's safe, you are usually present when you are with her, and I think most importantly, you need to genuinely love your woman. Now, a lot of men out there are going to be saying, oh, well, I do love my woman. But I don't think that a lot of people actually really understand what it means to genuinely love someone, a truly deep, spiritual, soulful love. It is already starting to get dark, bro. <laughs> what I wanted to mostly finish on before I actually get into the gym, man, this lighting sucks ass. <laughs> Oh well, it's my first vlog, I'm just gonna let it pass. But being able to be a man that makes sure that the housing environment is comfortable and safe, I think is one of the most important contributors into making sure that your wife is happy. Being able to afford healthy food, being able to afford to spend time with her, being able to afford to take her on a vacation, maybe two, once a year. Because here's the thing, fellas, when you're taking her out constantly, that sets her expectation to that base level. So if you're eating out every single day and spending every single meal or date uh, hundreds of dollars at fancy restaurants and everything, and you're doing on sunset cruises every other month, that is going to be her expectation. So if you're the kind of man that can't actually afford that, cool, I'm happy for you. But if you are not the kind of guy that cannot afford and sustain that lifestyle long term, you don't want to set her expectations higher than what you can provide. Because if you end up doing that, she's not going to have a happy life. You're not going to have a happy wife. And quite frankly, this is how a lot of failing relationships get started is that the expectations are set too high and then a man can't deliver on those expectations. So with all that, so with all that being said, now that I'm back from the gym and I've gotten my blood flowing and everything, I just want to let you know that this doesn't mean that you can't spoil her or gift her things or, you know, do all of that trad husband stuff. However, what it does mean is that you should not be trying to overutilize the tools that you are given as a man, as an attempt to fix things, should things be going wrong in your relationship. After all, for most women, once they emotionally detach themselves from you, that's usually game over. You know, there's not really too much coming back from a woman that has already labeled you as an unsafe man. And that holds true for almost, for most women, I'm not saying all, I don't want to be mistaken here, 
most women, when they emotionally detach from you as a man, that's usually a wrap. That's why they say happy wife, happy life, because it's very hard and it also takes a long time to bring things back in from a failing relationship. My point, my ultimate, my pen ultimate point is that if you create a safe, loving, happy space for your wife, she will in return give you a happy life. It's not about spoiling her. It's not about giving her money. It's not about giving her gifts all the time. It's about being able to actually provide what she would want and obviously for every woman that's different, but what she wants and your ability to provide it. That is what a happy wife is. A safe wife. A loved wife. A happy wife. Also, quick call to action in case you didn't know. I'm a small YouTuber. Subscribing to my channel helps me out a ton, so that way I can help you out a ton. So leave a comment below on your personal description of what a happy wife, happy life is. And I'll see you in the next one.